planes where failure is an option. So in my last flight, I thought I broke the motor mount, but I actually broke the motor. And here's how I did it. Oh! Uh -oh. <laughs> At the engine. Oh! Barbie is partially out and it's throwing off my balance and I can't straighten her out. One of the goals of Rebel Planes is to experiment and try new things and uh, kind of learn from that experience. So what I want to try today is to convert my ailerons into elevons. So what I did is I unplugged the splitter for the ailerons that controls the left and right aileron. And I unplugged my um, rudder and uh, elevator and then plugged the left wing into the aileron port and the right wing into the elevator port. I've got the left flap as the elevator for pitch and I have the right flap working like a, an aileron for roll. Now to do flap mixing I flip the uh, mix switch And now these flaps are mixed. And now I've got roll, aileron, and pitch for elevator. The only control I have is pitch and roll off the wing. Now one thing I haven't figured out in my mind is should the flaps go down to make the, uh, the nose go up or should the flaps go up to make the nose go up? I know with the elevators, when this flap goes down, it pushes the tail up and it makes the nose go down. Conversely, if the flaps go up, it pushes the tail down, nose goes up. But how is that going to work on the wing? I have no idea. Now if the flap goes up, that's going to push the wing down, I'm thinking. So, I think that I want, when I, when I want to pull the nose up, I want the flaps to go down, which will push the wing and the nose upward. So currently, when I pull back to go up, the flaps are going down, and that should push the wings up. In theory, at least. Since I can't steer it, I'm going to try to shoot it trees and hopefully gain enough lift before I hit the curb or hit a tree. Alright, that didn't work. It, it nosed it down, which is opposite of what I thought it was going to do. But what I can do is flip the elevator control so that now when I pull up, the flaps will go up. Let's see what effect that has. I'm a little disappointed with their range of movement. I would have hoped that they would have come up a little more. Well, when you can't steer, that's what happens. Let's give it a shot again. So it seems like no matter what I do with the wing elevons, it's not going to work whether the elevators come up or down. So I'd say the experiment was a success. Shows you can't have elevons on your wings. So what I did is I took the Y splitter and I put it into the elevator port on the receiver. And then I attached the left wing to the Y and the elevator to the Y. So they're both going into the elevator. So now I have, now I have elevator. But the problem is 
when I go left, it wants to go down, and when I go right, it wants to go up. So, that's probably not going to work. Up and down, depending on what direction you go. <laughs> so I set everything up back normal, all the switches and all the connections. So ailerons are ailerons, rudders are rudders, uh, elevators are elevators. Um, we're about to have a storm. We've got some low clouds. I thought I might try to fly up into the clouds since uh, they're usually low during a rainstorm. So I can hear the uh, thunder of uh, coming lightning. Okay, much better. I had the propeller on backwards. Obviously I still haven't figured that out yet. I actually thought it was impossible to put it on backwards, but uh, I just proved myself wrong. Just trying to fly high up into the clouds. Here we go. My finger actually slipped off the elevator. Doesn't look like I'll be able to make the cloud cover. It's flying a little strange, I don't know why. See a big uh, big storm cloud there, right behind it. Anyway, I'm gonna bring it around and uh, land it. Um, the wing is cracked, and I did tape it, but uh, History has told me that um, trying to repair cracked wing isn't a good idea. Uh, coming in too fast. These, these Corsairs do not come in slow for landings. Got to really um, have a long... Oh man, what is wrong? Oh, something's wrong. Something's wrong. Something is majorly wrong. I gotta land it as soon as possible. I am losing control here. Slow it down, slow it down. Land it soft. I don't know what happened, but it was obvious that there was something wrong with it and it was pulling hard to the, uh, it was trying to roll hard to the left, so I'll have to take a look. So what I did is I trimmed the ailerons to uh, compensate for the left roll, so it'll have a tendency to right roll. See how that works. I've also trimmed the elevator because it had a tendency to nosedive. So I don't know why, but it's really underpowered. And it still wants to roll left, even though I've, I've trimmed it. And the nose still wants to come down. Well, it's not much fun when your plane is uh, misbehaving, so I'm going to bring it back down for a landing. See if I can land it close to me this time. Awesome. Okay, I didn't even expect to land in the road, but it um, just kind of happened, and that was awesome. Now, I, have, I still haven't figured out why it lacks power, but I 
think I did figure out why it was flying strange, because the wing was loose. And that's not a good thing, so need to fix that. So check out this wing graveyard. Four wings. I uh, had another wing that burned up, so that's five, and uh, this wing makes uh, six. So this wing is now destroyed. I've got to buy a new one. And the reason is it has cracks down here, and that's the reason why it wasn't flying well. I mean, you can see the bend. And as I was flying it and it was, I was pulling up, I, I, could see, I could see that bend like this. And uh, you can just see the crack opening up. So I've got to toss this wing and buy another one. Now, this is going to be my last Corsair. The problem is the motor is up front. I'm tired of replacing propellers and motors and cowls and motor mounts. Um, I want to play with the, the motor in the middle or the back. I subscribe to KillerPlanes.com and go check them out because they have uh, crash proof kits and they've been applying them to a variety of planes and you can see the guy crashing the plane into a fence, into the ground high speed, uh, dealing with high winds and so on and um, little or no damage and the guy can keep on flying and so that's what I want so my next plane is going to come from Killer Planes definitely uh, because I, I crash a lot and I want to keep flying when I do so tired of it's, it's just too expensive to uh, keep buying these motors and propellers and so on so so the Corsair has been uh, good to me. I mean, it's a, it's a great plane. It flies awesome, but um, it's just not durable enough for me. So I'm going to move on. So, but I'm going to keep repairing this and keep flying it. But as soon as it reaches a point where um, I can't repair it, I'm going to move on. And besides uh, trying out some different planes, I'm also going to be building my own planes. <laughs> well is because of cracks in here and and you can see the cracks 